Hello, I'm Dan Vandebunty, and today I'm going to show you a couple of different options for embedding Desmos graphs into Google Sites. Those of you who are familiar with Desmos know that there's a handful of ways to share a Desmos graph. If you click on the share button up in the upper right hand corner, you get a link that you can copy, you can print it, export it, or even embed it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is what happens when you copy this link right here. So I'm going to click on that, copy that to my clipboard. I'm going back to my Google site. I'm going to double click and where it says embed, uh, I only am going to embed by URL for this one. So I paste the URL in, I get the whole page option or just a preview. I want to click on whole page and then I'm going to insert the graph. Right, and now I'm going to publish it and show you what happens. So now that I've published it, I'm going to open up the site and you'll see the Desmos graph appear. But what's really neat about this is the Desmos graph is editable within the web page. So you can have students working on a Desmos graph uh, for an activity and they don't have to have a separate tab open. They can just edit it right in the page with the directions next to them. Uh, if the directions are more complicated, you can even add a, a Google Doc in here, uh, whatever you need, uh, but the graph here is editable within the page, which is kind of neat. The second option you have, uh, if I go back to my Desmos graph and I click on the embed link, I'm going to copy the embed link. Uh, when I go back to my Google site, I'm going to double click and when I click on embed, this time I'm actually going to click on embed code, paste it in, click next. It'll give me a little preview to make sure everything's looking the way it's supposed to. It is, so I'm going to click insert. And then I'm going to publish. All right, so let's see how that second graph behaves. Uh, you'll notice that there's no input bars or input boxes over on the left hand side, so I can't really edit this graph right here, but that's okay. If I scroll down in the lower right hand corner, you can kind of see it in light gray. It says edit graph on Desmos. If I roll over it, Desmos turns green, which is a pretty good indication that this is a link. So I'm going to click on that and that will open up the editable graph in a separate tab. So you've got a couple of options if you're going to insert a Desmos graph into a Google site and you still want people to be able to edit the graph. If you copy the link, you can paste uh, the graph into the site by embedding the URL and people will be able to edit the graph directly with on your Google Sites page. If you use the embed code, it will show the graph and then when people click on edit graph on Desmos, it will open the graph on a new tab and they can edit it there. So you've got a couple of different options there, uh, whichever one you prefer. Uh, but there you 